always say that bad things happen when good people do nothing. I want to applaud the community for standing up and showing up. Because Justin meant something to us. He put his life on the line every day to ensure that our community can be a little more safer. In fact, that week, he saved at least four young men lives that week. So we have to do more, and we should be doing more. Because today that officer is back to work. Those officers are back to work. But today Justin is not back to work. Today he's not back to work. And so, as a leader in this community, I, we, you, us, we have to fight against this injustice system. Even what happened last night to Marcellus Williams, a man who the justice system knew was innocent, was yet again a victim of this broken system and lost his life. And so until we unify with a common goal to make sure we are held accountable on all levels, regardless of what title, and stand in the gap for those who don't know and may not know how to stand for themselves. And so I got a hearing going on today, but I said, now I got to come down here early to say something for my guy. Because guess what? He would do the same thing for me. If they kill us and we kill us, there will be no more us. We are past the conversation talking about gentrification. We are facing genocide in our community each and every day. Especially brown and black men and women across this city. Our city is in a decline when it comes to the love and care for our people. So the fight continues. And so I stand with my brother and his family today and say I love you. You always got a friend of me. I've seen you all on the front line advocating for, for your brother, for your loved one, for your son, for your homeboy. But well, we must not stop here. The struggle continues. People all over the world want to change their circumstances, but are unwilling to change themselves. Our community will get better as we get better, as we stand up for Justin Robinson. Thank you. God bless.